It has been more than six months since a terrible crash on 10 Rod Road in Exeter. Later this morning, the man accused of causing that crash, Alexander Krajewski, set to face a judge. Prosecutors say that he was driving drunk when he hit a car that two high school seniors were in. Matthew Dennison later died from the injuries in that crash. And his passenger, fellow hockey teammate, best friend, seriously injured. 12 News reporter Chelsea Jones live at the Washington County Courthouse right now with more on what we can expect today. So we're actually waiting for supporters to start arriving here. It's still a bit early uh, as the arraignment is not scheduled for another couple of hours, but they are all expected to come here and stand in solidarity in support of both Matthew Dennison and Kevin McDonald. So if we take a look back at how we got here, Krajewski was actually charged in July. He's facing four charges and those are DUI resulting in death, driving to endanger resulting in death, and then two counts of DUI resulting in serious bodily injury. Now Krajewski is accused of hitting Matt and Kevin head on while they were on their way to the West Warwick Ice Hockey Rink. For months, we've been bringing you stories with many families that have been impacted by drunk driving, and all of them have been calling for the people that have been called responsible in these cases to be held responsible. Now, they also are calling for stricter laws to be enforced, and here's more from Matt's father when we spoke to him back in April. I'm just asking that they take a serious, hard look at these laws and they make some meaningful changes. We need to deter people from taking these actions. There's very little punishment for the people that do these things and they are crimes. So we need to, we need to address them accordingly. That arraignment for Alexander Krajewski is scheduled for 930. As soon as we get inside the courtroom and learn uh, what happens inside of it, we will bring you the latest online and on air. Live in Wakefield, I'm Chelsea Jones, 12 News. Top story at 730 this morning, North Kingstown man facing several charges this morning in relation to a February car crash that claimed the life of Matthew Dennison and injured his passenger, his teammate, his best friend, Kevin McDonald. So family and friends of the former West Warwick hockey players expected to be there outside the courtroom and inside the courtroom to show their support for the families who've been impacted. Chelsea Jones is live at the Washington County Courthouse with more on the charges the driver Alexander Krajewski is facing. Yeah, so we've been tracking the story for six months ever since the initial car crash. And today, Alexander Krajewski will be facing four DUI charges. So let's get you up to speed to where we stand today. Krajewski is facing a judge for those four charges. They are listed as DUI resulting in death, driving to endanger resulting in death, and then two separate counts of DUI resulting in serious bodily injury. Now, back in February, Krajewski was accused of hitting uh, Matthew Dennison and Kevin McDonald head on while they were on the way to the hockey rink, which is somewhere where they spent a lot of time together. Uh, for months, we've been tracking this story and several others of many families being impacted by drunk driving. And we've told you many times about those people wanting the people responsible to be held accountable and for stricter laws to be enforced in the state. Here's what Matt's father, Mark, had to say about accountability. Matt's not the only 17 year old that's passed this year from this terrible, terrible thing that we have going on. We want to do good in the names of these children who have died at the hands of people who make bad decisions. And let's face it, it's a decision. Everybody knows the dangers of driving under the influence. Now, Krajewski was a former Newport firefighter. He has since been let go from his post, but he will be arraigned here at 930 at Washington County Courthouse. We'll bring you the latest from inside the courtroom once we have that. Right now, for, for, uh, for now, I should say, in Wakefield, I'm Chelsea Jones, 12 News.